I just love the whole idea of service above self. Uh, my father-in-law had been uh, a longtime member of this club as well. Uh, and really I joined because he asked me to, but I found out I'd fallen into a big pot of honey when I joined this club. So I think one of the amazing things about Rotary is how quickly it grew worldwide. Uh, it started in 1905. The Louisville Club was formed in 1912 and was the 45th in the country. By, I believe, 1921, there were a thousand clubs in the world. It is the premier club for the civic and business leaders of our community to come together. And there are various reasons people want to be engaged. One of them is for doing extraordinary community service. Another one is for uh, networking at very high levels. And we're just a great organization that's sustained because we've got wonderful people involved throughout the community doing so many things. Like last weekend was a repair affair and it was coordinating, taking care of elderly people's homes. And just in that work project to see people with major titles, major salaries, in sweaty t-shirts, taking care of somebody they we'll never see again. I think it's the, the common purpose. You know, the fact that everybody joins, hopefully for, for the right reason and to give back. And there's just so many opportunities. And in a club like ours, you know, with 30 something committees and every committee's got its own focus, you can find where you want to participate and make a difference. And I grew up in a family where service, uh, community service was very important, particularly by my mother. Now. At that particular point, there were no women in Rotary, and there weren't women in Rotary until many years later. But I, I, just from what I knew about Rotary and what I loved about Rotary, the whole slogan, the motto, the mantra is service above self, and, and that's, that's important. It's been important in our family, and it's, it, it clearly is the, the glue that holds Rotary together, and that's, that's why we're all attracted to it. So that's, that's what drew me to it. Had people, good folks there, people that I was crazy about, people we represented, and I said, well, you know, if they'll have me, I'll take them, I'll, I'll, I'll take it, because it's a, it's a wonderful group. My sister was a member of the Rotary Club, and uh, she kept telling me it was fun and meet new people, and do some nice things in the community and uh, that I should join. And after working on me for a few years, I went to some meetings and I said, yeah, she's right. And I'm an orthopedic surgeon and I was tired of going to places and talking to people about surgery and orthopedics. It's a great place for fellowship and you can go and meet other people that are not surgeons. And they might ask you questions and they want free medical advice, but that's, that's better than having to talk with the same people every day about the same subject. And, and you learn something about the community when you go to Rotary. And you, the fellowship there is just that way that you bring out and they bring out in you uh, some things that you do. And you just, like you're asking me questions, we would, you do that at a lunch and you find out who the new people are and who the old people are. And my God, I never had any idea you did that. And once I got down here, I met the people, and it was a diverse group of people, people that I don't, I normally associate with just my professional people, but this was an opportunity to meet people outside of my specialty, outside of my field. And they were nice people, prominent people in Louisville, fun folks, and that's, what, that's kind of what I like about it. They're the newsmakers. When I was a newspaper reporter fresh out of college in a small town in northeastern Ohio, I covered a lot of activities of the Rotary Club and I was so impressed with the, the group study exchange that came from England and toured the community and, and got to know many of the real leaders of that community in business and also in civic affairs who were all members of the Rotary Club. Mm. And I just remember thinking, wow, this Rotary Group is really an amazing organization and wouldn't it be wonderful? I wonder if I'll ever achieve any kind of a status where I could be a member of Rotary. And one of the first meetings I went to, they had this charming young lady as our speaker. And uh, she had just won the America's Junior Miss Contest. I said, wow, this is an exciting club. What's her name? Her name was Diane Sawyer. Oh. I said, this is a lively club with a lot of interesting things going on. I'm going to enjoy this. This is like the original networking. So 
because when you get with people every week and it's not like most organizations where you're meeting once a month or you're meeting every four months or something so every week you get to know people um, and then the fact that it's service-based so you're not just getting to know people but you're also doing something united with each other uh, to help whatever cause that you're helping and I think it's that the combination of those two